Good morning, everyone. As always, what you're supposed to do as a follower of Christ, place your cross on first. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. You see, the, the Bible gives us clear instruction in regards to a lot of things. All we got to do is read it. it. It tells us how to be. It tells us how to protect ourselves from the world and others. It tells us who to look out for. Let's read from 2 Timothy, starting with chapter 2. Now therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of jesus christ what does bible tell us to do endure hardness why did he tell you to endure hardness the sufferings this and that because that's what part of a christian lifestyle is all about no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for mastery, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. The husband that laborer must be first partakers of the fruit. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto burns, but the word of God is not bound, even unto burns. Because we know when we start spreading the truth, people are going to start persecuting us. I see so many followers of Christ uh, post a lot of videos and people are questioning them and this and that. You know, you've got to get to a point where you just avoid them at all costs. It don't make no sense to argue with them. Therefore, I do all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. I saw a post yesterday. And I talked about it. It was a woman who uh, got a job offer, promotion, so to say. And it was going to be more money than, than she always dreamed of, right? But if some chief says she sat down with the lawyers and she saw the fine print, the fine print said, you can say God, you can say Allah, you can say anything else, but you can't say Jesus. And I was reading to other people, well, you take the job anyway and you find a way to get part of a Christian lifestyle. That's one rule we cannot break denying Jesus Christ, denying his name. You understand? He telling us this. He said, if you deny me before men, I would deny you before my Father in heaven. So part of our job description is to profess the name of Jesus Christ. It's simple. You can't break that rule. That's one of the golden rules as a Christian. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a good workman, rightly dividing the word of truth. Why do you study? So you can rightly divide the word of truth. Why do they say rightly dividing the word of truth? Because you got to connect the dots in this book. And it's some people that know a lot. The thing is, I, I tell the saying, I want to know what you know. And I still learn from other people. I learn from other people who study. And I'm sure other people learn from me. Do you understand what I'm saying? But shun profane and vain babblings. It makes no sense to argue with people about this word of God. Been there, done that. Sometimes still fall victim to it, but I try not to. For they will increase into more ungodliness. And that word would eat as doth a canker of whom is Hymenius and Philetus. He even told you some examples of some people back then. Who concerning the truth have urged saying that the resurrection is past already. And overthrow the faith of some. Wow. Look what they were saying back then. The resurrection has passed. Nevertheless, 
The foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. So we're supposed to stop doing evil, do our best to, for Christ's sake. But in a, in a great house, there's not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for every for the master's work, use, and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness. What he said, flee youthful lust. As a child, I behaved as a child, but as a man, I did away with childish things. You can't keep doing the same things you was doing when you was 21 or 18 or whatever. Do you understand? But foolish and unlearned questions avoid. Foolish and unlearned questions avoid. You ain't got to answer all these questions from folks. You ain't got to. You don't have to. Knowing that they do generate gender strife. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach patience. And meekness instructing those that oppose themselves. If God prevents it, will give them repentance to the acknowledgement of the truth. One thing about it, God will let us know what to say. And he'll let us know when to shut up too. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Who are taken captive by him and his will. I talked about this yesterday. People are waking up. Some people are waking up to embrace the devil. Some people are waking up to embrace God. I was reading, watching some videos about Freemasonry and how it's Luciferian and Lucifer is light bearer. That's who they worship as their God. And they don't want to answer the question. It's the thing is the young Masons don't know, but they know, man, you got YouTube here. You got people who used to be in these groups and exposing them and people just turn the blind eye to it. No, it's not because they want it. It's simple. They want it. Now watch this. This also know that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despised of those that are good. Traitors, trade. What's a traitor? Heady, high-minded, loves us pleasures more than lovers of God. He's telling you the examples of them. I was watching a video yesterday. There was a woman, whatever her name is, uh, Juanita Bynum, spreading the gospel, trying to teach people how to pray for a fee of fifteen hundred dollars. Well. If you knew the word of God, you would know that Lord, the Lord said, this is how you pray. So what I need her to teach me, something Jesus Christ has already taught me how to do. You might be trying to do some other thing, teach me some witchcraft. Having a form of godness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. You don't think that's a form of denial? Teaching people how to pray a contrary to how the Lord told you to? That'd be the easiest $1,500 to make in the world. How, I'm going to tell you how to pray to people. You gave me that $1,500? Our Father. Okay. But it's more than that. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lust. What did he say? For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive city women laden with lust, with sins, and led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as Jamas and Jamas withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest to all men as theirs also was. Look around how many people who going against the word Jesus, they follow will be manifest to all. We got YouTube, we got TikTok, we got Instagram, we got television. 
How about that man that's he's got to wear a million dollar worth of jewelry <laughs> every time he step on the pool pit? Then he got robbed. Then they showed him rebuking, putting his hands on some lady. Not in a godly way either. Because she was in his space. Then he was like, take a picture of me. You want to get rich and famous? Take a picture next to me. God said, avoid these people. But they shall proceed no further, for their father shall be manifest to all men, as theirs also was. But the but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me in Antioch, and Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Now, let me say something right here. He said, if it's good to suffer, but not as an evildoer, but as a Christian. Some of these people are suffering for doing evil. Just throw that out there. Yea, and that will I live godly. And Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. And I mean, all that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. All that live godly. He didn't say some that live godly in Christ Jesus. He said, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. Deceiving and being deceived. Birds of a feather flock together but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned as has been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them and that form from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith of Christ and Jesus Christ all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction, for instruction and in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. How do you be perfect? With the word of God. This doctrine, the Holy Bible. Now it's true that the Bible has been tampered with over time. But the thing is, the Father Truth, he said, I will bring all things into remembrance. Right? In reality, you really ain't got to search for it. Whatever he wants you to know, it will come to you. Do you understand? You never saw the disciples or the, the, the prophets searching out information. God gave them the information. You never saw dream interpreters trying to find out how to interpret dreams. It came to them by the Holy Spirit of God. But he tell you what to look out for, people. He tell you how to walk. He tell you you're going to suffer for, for Christ's sake. He tell you not to be out there. Not to entangle yourself again with the affairs of this world. If he brought you out of it, what you need to be running back in there for? Running back in the fire. You know, I'm just saying for real people. It's like you go in, you leave a burning house. You know what I'm saying? And everything's in there. Everything's gone. You know, everything's, all the people out and everything, you run right back in. It's a possibility you're going to meet your death. God doesn't want us to be ignorant. I see people walking the streets, teaching and debating with other people. What's the use? What's the use? You see, they like to be seen on the street corners and the synagogues. They want to be seen. They want to get likes. Some of them be about to get the fight. Don't give me fit. Don't get close to me now. Well, if you got to keep telling people not to get close to you, it's time to leave. You know, if you read the Bible, Jesus fled a lot of times when persecution was getting too rough. It was like, you know what? Let's go, boys. Let's get out of here. They won't hear. You know, speak your peace. Speak what the Lord tells you to do. But it don't make no sense to keep going back and forth and trying to answer questions. For real. It don't make sense, people. It don't. Trying to convince a non-believer is, is real hard, people. All you can do is show them by who you are. Walk. Naturally. In the way the Lord tells you to walk. And that's how you show Christ. You know, yeah, sometimes the, the, the Lord is going to compel you to say something. Alright, back to the other subject. The deceivers. 
who take advantage of people. Man, you got to watch out for them. They everywhere. Selling the word of God. It's free. It's free, people. Having these great seminars. Just to see this idol. Little children, keep yourselves from what? Idols. They done built a name for themselves. So now they can decide to make money off of their name. <laughs> Man, come on, people. Deceiving and deceiving one another. They say T.D. Jason passed the torch to his daughter. I'm trying to figure out how he did that. If he knows, if he knows the scripture as much as he do, how you going to pass the torch to his daughter? Maybe the store torch stop will stop with him if he ain't got a son. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure something out. They love to hang together. The seed was hanging together. George Myers, T.D. Jakes, Oprah Winfrey, all of them hang together, convincing each other and fooling one another. Don't let nobody pull you from the truth. That's why I say be very careful when you're searching. I went through that phase, people. At one point in time, I I wanted to reach outside and read the book of Enoch. You know, back in the day, the book of Enoch was in the King James 1611 edition Bible. Also with the Apocrypha, Maccabees, and all many other books. Over time, people started taking it out. You know, but it's kind of hard for me to find one. You know, I can get not hard for me to find one. I can get one. You understand? But the Lord compels me to get it, I'll get it. A few years ago, I was trying my best. I was like, I need to get a Hebrew Bible. I need to know Hebrew. Then I listened to people interpreting the Bible from Hebrew and what it said. And it's like God had already revealed to me the exact thing they said. It ain't about your language, Lord. God, God made all that. I want to go back to the original Hebrew language. But let me tell you something, people. What language were the people of the land speaking when God confounded them? Probably Samaria. I don't even know what. In Babel. What was the original language? I guarantee you it went Hebrew. I guarantee you it would. But at the same time, God made every language. Right? There's a lot of truth coming out, man. But the truth has to be proven through this. It has to be proven. It can't be proven through outside sources. You use the word rightly dividing it to find answers that's already in there. You don't have to go outside this book at all, people. I'm trying to tell y'all something. You really don't have to. Whatever he wants to show you is in here. But you got to study it. You got to read it. You don't just stop reading the Bible. You stay studying it. Why? Because it's required of you. Or you think going to church on Sunday is enough study. That's enough for you. Think Sunday school, you're good. Wednesday night, you think that's all the Bible you need. You're wrong. You're wrong, people. I had to figure that out on my own, too. One thing I didn't realize about a lot of churches these days, they preach on what their agenda is. Hopefully you're at a church that's staying true to sound doctrine and like to shake it up a little bit. Talk about mercy, truth, judgment, love, all of it. Revelation, Genesis, Psalms, Son of Solomon, Ecclesiastes, Leviticus, Numbers, Exodus. Somebody that can go through this whole book with you. You know, I don't like the whole fact that everybody's in the church is under a syllabus. Do, do you have your Bible study guy? No, you know, so they try to keep all, all you on the same page for some reason. <laughs> that don't seem spirit led to me. That seem worldly led. You better be careful with that. I mean, pause and I will continue.